Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. Today's video is a continuation of last week's video on solar inverters, but we're focusing more on the different microinverters Enphase Energy has available. Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch last week's video, and um, I definitely recommend that you do because we were comparing Solar Edge and Enphase and determining which might be better for your situation. I provided a link in the description below, but you can also watch it at the end of this video. And you know, while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and like the page. And if you're someone in our area of Southern California that's considering solar, visit us online to receive a free quote. Now let's talk Enphase Energy Microinverters, but before I do, let me explain how a microinverter system works for those of you that may be unfamiliar. A microinverter is exactly what it sounds like, a shrunk down inverter that converts the DC energy of a solar panel into AC energy that everything around you uses. But unlike a traditional solar inverter where you would have one to convert the power of all your solar panels, with Enphase, you have one microinverter attached to one panel at a time, so they act independently, each converting the power of each panel they're connected to. Pretty cool. Now that we're all caught up, we can talk about the various microinverters Enphase offers because there are a lot of different panels that produce various amounts of power and you can't really develop a one-size-fits-all microinverter, or string inverter for that matter. Now, as of this video, Enphase is manufacturing their seventh generation of micros, and they have four models to choose from, each for different modules and configurations. Starting with the base model, the IQ7, moving on to the next model up, the IQ7 Plus, followed by the IQ7X, which is exclusively used for Panasonic modules, and finally, the newest microinverter in the lineup, the IQ7A, which is intended for high wattage modules. I'm providing a link in the description below so you can access the same information that's going to be on the screen and that I'll be talking about. Enphase has done something no one else has been has by putting up each microinverter side by side so you can easily find out what you're being offered and if it's ideal for the solar panel uh, you're you're purchasing so let's start comparing from right to left keep in mind Enphase has a large range of you know window for solar panel input and my recommendations are intended for our area of southern california so if you live somewhere like new york or texas you may be offered a slightly different configuration because of your orientation to the sun Looking at the IQ7 to the IQ7 Plus, these are the most commonly installed microinverters for residential and most commercial applications. The IQ7 can support solar panels that produce up to 350 watts, but we recommend pairing them with panels less than or around 310 watts. This is because the microinverter can only output so much power, and when you install a panel with too much power, for the microinverter, a clipping effect occurs, which means you peak and lose the remaining amount of energy from the panel. Now, the IQ7 Plus is ideal for commercial applications and larger wattage modules. Enphase says it can support up to 440 watts, but we don't recommend pairing it with anything residentially wise above 350 and 400 watts for commercial 72 cell modules. Again, this has to do with the clipping effect I just mentioned. Moving on to the IQ7X, this microinverter is in a league of its own and shouldn't be compared to the others because it's a standalone product Enphase developed and manufactures exclusively for the Panasonic HIT modules. Due to this microinverter's limited usability with other panels, it does cost more than others but it's also a winning combination for Panasonic modules. Now finally, we come to the IQ7A. This is the newest product in the family, and for good reason, really. This, this microinverse supports modules up to 440 watts, and we strongly recommend pairing it with modules between 350 and 440 watts. Though you won't likely see this model used too often in a residential system, 
You could request for it if you're getting, say, the LG Neon R modules that produce 365 watts, but this microinverter is the most expensive one that we've ever seen from Enphase. So keep that in mind if you're wondering if you should request it. You'll likely be paying a premium for something that the IQ7 Plus can handle. With that said, Enphase will be releasing their eighth generation microinverters later on this year, probably Q3, maybe Q4, and we'll be updating this video when they do to include their specs. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, go ahead, hit that button down below. And if you're interested in any of the products mentioned, visit us online to get a free quote for your home. Keep in mind, we only service Southern California. So if you're in Nebraska or Virginia or Tennessee, um, yeah, hopefully this video just helped you find an installer in your area. Thanks for watching. Until next time.